So, this is the birthday present that Giselle pre-ordered for me, and it's from Book Depository, and I'm going to save this for last because I have another big box to open. This uh, kind of goes with the new camera that we got. It is a Sony RX100 Mark V. Uh, I bought it used, but like new, from eBay for a price that was like the best price I, I had ever seen for the camera, so I just had to jump on it and I'm really glad that I did. It's been a lot of fun to play with already. I've kind of been messing with it a lot before this, you know, first time sitting down and talking to it. But uh, here is uh, some few accessories that I got for it, plus one other thing. And then at the end here, like I said, I will open Giselle's birthday present for me finally. So, the first thing is uh, kind of a necessity for this camera. It is a case, it's kind of like a leather case, it kind of like wraps around the camera to kind of keep it protected as much as possible. Uh, I mean, I did get it for a very good price considering what camera it is, but uh, I still want to keep it as protected as possible because it was still uh, expensive. And it's very tiny, and it's very heavy, it's very tiny and heavy, and I'm sure it'll feel better in like Giselle's hands, but in my hands it's slightly awkward to hold and I kind of feel like I'm going to drop it, it has a, like a, a wrist strap to make sure that it doesn't happen, but this will help it even more to keep it safe, which I'm very <laughs> glad about. So I haven't really been using it too much, I kind of wanted to wait until this came. And then I also bought a second battery for the camera. I came with one, but it, like I've read online that this camera eats at the battery pretty, pretty quickly, and I've kind of noticed that. Uh, it's fine if you just kind of like pull it out and take a few shots like here and there, like throughout the day and stuff, but if you do anything long, uh, back to back or anything like that, which I've kind of been messing with, the battery does tie kind of quickly, so I'll always keep two charged batteries with us whenever we do anything. And then something that I didn't realize the camera actually came with, the eBay listing didn't actually list it, that it came with a screen protector on the screen already, so I bought one, so this one will be a kind of backup for the one that's already on there. I was actually really happy that there's already one on there, and now that I have a backup, I'll feel even more secure, you know, handling the camera uh, as time goes on because I can always replace the screen protector. And then I got this. This is a new memory card. Uh, this camera shoots very high quality, a lot higher quality than our old camera. And all of our memory cards, except for one, the one that I'm using right now, kind of just isn't going to cut it for this thing. And even the one I'm using now kind of uh, pushes it a bit. So I'm, I bought a much nicer memory card to have some more space to use on a day-by-day -day basis, you know and uh, it's 64 gigabytes and the, the highest one we have right now is 32 gigabytes and uh, this one is 64 and is much faster and just better in general and the last thing that i got that's in here does not relate to the camera in any way jack just kind of relates to what i'm trying to do at the moment which is uh, take care of my weight i am a lot bigger a lot heavier than i would like to be uh like a lot a lot a lot i've just kind of been i'm not i've been doing okay with eating uh, sometimes i slip up and I kind of need to cut that out, <laughs> but to help me keep track of my weight and kind of help me to stay motivated, I'm, I'm hoping I got a scale, a digital scale to put in our bathroom, and uh, which will hopefully, like I said, keep me on track and keep me motivated and all that jazz. Uh, I'm going to try to not use it too often to freak myself out at all, but uh, I, I'm genuinely looking forward to uh, keeping track of this and using it as motivation to make myself better. Uh, we'll keep it in, in the bathroom. It was super inexpensive on Amazon. Amazon has a bunch of cheap uh, scales like this and with lots of good ratings. And now, we have this and Giselle's here. What did you get me, Giselle? <laughs> yeah, I already know what it is, but it did, it did come. They already know what it is. I guess. <laughs> it did come, like... A couple weeks ago. Three weeks ago, maybe. Maybe. So it hasn't been. It didn't take that long for Depository to get to it, get it to us. But I, I wanted to. But I wanted to wait to open it. I know that we got it before other people because I saw everyone like unboxing it on Instagram and be like, "I have it," and I'm like, "I've had that for like five days." <laughs> <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> it's got a white thing in front of it, and it's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in Hufflepuff the fat fries edition. On the back. The fat fry. <laughs> I didn't. I real. I was looking at them online after once people were like unboxing them and stuff, and yeah. I realized that each one has the different ghosts on the back. Look at it. It's awesome sauce. Uh, that's 
the front and the back. It's almost smaller than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, it is I, smaller. I guess I expected it to be the same size as the U.S. ones. Yeah. But they're not. It's quite a bit smaller. It's actually. like the size of a normal. Um, like heart, like a normal hardback. Yeah. Yeah. Like here, I have like this one maybe. Yeah. Oh no. It's, it's even smaller. smaller. So oh, it's okay. a pretty. It's a very small edition, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh, it has yellow inside as well. And then the very bright yellow on the inside. And it has this like 20th edition sticker on it. It says dedication, patience, and loyalty. So I don't know what the other ones say, but that's pretty awesome sauce. I'm very happy to have it. Thank you so much, Giselle. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Even though it's yellow. Yeah, that's alright. We'll get the green one eventually. And it's also got this like castle grounds map in it. That's really cool. So yeah, it has it is. Hogmeade Station, so I guess Hogsmeade is down here probably. Um, it has, it even has just like with old like sea maps and stuff. Ah! <laughs> it makes That's, me so happy. It's really beautiful. Uh, it has a giant squid and then it has a little witch flying on it. The broom squid, the broom shed, the Quidditch Stadium. I tried to mix those two up. Um, pitch, practice pitch. So they don't actually practice in the stadium. I never thought about that. No, yeah. That's so interesting. Hagrid's cabin, the Wamp Whomping Willow. Why do they have the Whomping Willow so freaking close to the castle? It's like I mean, you would think it would be like back behind Hagrid's house. Anyway, yeah. And then the greenhouses. Like, why is a Whomping Willow a beeline between this lesson and this lesson? They just <laughs> want the kids to be attacked. Exactly. That's the whole Ooh. point. And then the mermaid sitting on the rock. It's awesome. Legit. Stuff. Yeah. And the Forbidden Forest. Oh, and there's like a centaur in there. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I approve, even though... Oh! Oh! It's Walt! That's never mentioned in any of the books. Yeah, that's weird. It I, does have a wall. I don't think that's a thing, but... This this illustrator Wait. decided to make it a thing. Oh, so Hogsmeade is up here, but Hogsmeade Station is down here. That's very confusing. That doesn't make sense. I don't... That's not in the books either, I'm pretty sure, but... Whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Sometimes you, oh, it tells you all about your house as well. <gasps> this is so cool. Okay. Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah. And then it tells about being a, uh, welcome to the friendliest house at Hogwarts. While well, the other founding wizards chose their students based on what a, whether they possessed particular qualities, bravery, intelligence, or ambition, we just took the rest. That <laughs> doesn't make me feel special <laughs> at all. It says... Helga Hufflepuff accepted everyone else, <laughs> so we just took the trash. Making Hufflepuffs proud. So it tells about Hug Helga Hufflepuff, house relic, house livery, and then house ghost. That's really cool. Cheerful fat monk dressed in monk's robes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, Giselle and I are at a sushi place because it is our anniversary weekend and uh, it's actually, it's Friday right now. Our anniversary, our actual anniversary is on Sunday, but uh, Sunday we don't want to do anything and Giselle's, Giselle's mom is here, which uh, you'll see a separate vlog of us doing stuff, probably doing stuff tomorrow, like Saturday, going out and hanging out and stuff, and, but today we decided to come out for our anniversary and so... Of course, we came to get sushi. We've never been here before. Yeah, we ordered like five different things, so it should fill us up quite nicely. Also, I got something for Giselle that I'm going to give her tonight. I thought I thought I would wait until Sunday, but I think I just want to give it to her right now. And I have my bag with me. I brought it from work. I brought. I specifically brought the present to work with me, plus the camera to bring with us after, because we just came right after she picked me up from work. So, without further ado, she's been waiting for a long time for this. I told her, I have, both my parents already know what I got you, and her mom already knows what I got her, but she doesn't know what I got her. So, actually, first, before we do that, we should open, my, my parents sent us a card, so we're, we'll open that first. You're the worst. So, this is from my parents. It just came the other day. Or yesterday. It literally just came. And my mom just sent us a text saying, have fun tonight and stuff on our anniversary date. But it says, 
Let love strengthen you in unity and commitment. Let love anchor you in the most important things in life. Let love carry you when the road is hard to walk. Let love shape your hearts as one. Well. Which is very nice. And there's something in here for us. And it says, Dear Christopher and Giselle, let love hold you so close that nothing in the world can come between you. Let love be your guide in all things. Wishing you happiness in your marriage. Happy first anniversary. We love you, Mom and Dad. Happy first anniversary. It'll live. There we go. Hopefully you can hear what I'm saying, because I don't know what the, cam the sound in this camera sounds like yet, and how well it picks up stuff. So hopefully it picks up stuff well enough. But they, gave, they gave us a nice little present as well, which is very nice of them. Thank you. <laughs> so have you have you heard of uh, like the, the thing where it's like each anniversary is like a different kind of present? Like there's like silver and gold and wood paper? and all that stuff. You know what the first one is? Paper? It's the paper anniversary. So... This is, this is the present here, I'll hold it. I feel like I'm nervous now. Why? I don't know, because you've been so sneaky about it, and now it's just... She, she thinks, she thinks I, I spent like $500 or something. Pull it out. No, you didn't. Look at it. I saw it. Look at it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> He's taking me to see Anastasia on Broadway. We're going to see Anastasia August 5th, I think? August 5th. August 5th at 8 p.m. in New York. We're going to drive there Friday night. We're staying somewhere Friday night and Saturday night. So we're going to spend all day Saturday in New York, hanging out. And then Saturday night, we're going to go see a uh, musical. We're going to go see Anastasia, which just came out on Broadway. You like it? <laughs> I think this means she's happy. <laughs> I showed him clips of this like, what, six months ago? <laughs> Showing him like, all the, like, the teasers and stuff and like, how excited I was of like, it being turned into a Broadway musical. <laughs> Christopher, thank you. <laughs> Giselle is not crying anymore from happiness. I've calmed down, but holy cow. I, it's really funny because when Christopher and I first met, the first conversation we had was about musicals. Yeah, Into and the Woods. that's continued on, and that's really how we became friends, was talking about musicals and then movie musicals and all sorts of stuff. But that's musicals. like that's and like all we talked about for like a month it's at been, least. Yeah, it's been a it was a very strong basis to our relationship, and it's continued to be that. And the fact that we're doing that for our wedding is so sweet. Yeah. Our wedding anniversary, but oh, I was crying because I was so surprised and happy, and I'm just so grateful that I have the best husband in the world. I'm excited too. I'm really <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I really want to see a Barbie musical, so. It's a present for me also. It's also her birthday present. Yeah. So I'm so excited. Though. Me too. It'll be my second Broadway musical. Awesome sauce. But look at the, so the sushi that they just brought us. They brought it on a boat. It is literally on a boat. It look how amazing that looks. It looks freaking awesome. So I don't remember what all of them are. I think this one's Godzilla. No, this is Godzilla. That's Godzilla? This that's, is Samurai. That's Samurai. This is a snow crab. Snow spicy. crab. I think this is a volcano. Volcano, and then I don't remember what else. Uh, the last one. Whatever. whatever. It doesn't matter. They, they look, look very similar. They honestly look amazing, and we're gonna eat them all yes. right now so off excited. of our beautiful sushi boat. Like I know it's not because of our anniversary, but I almost feel like it is. Like how they've set it up. Yeah, I think they saw us like being all cutesy and her crying and stuff, and like it's a special event. We have to give it to them. Eat it. Eat it. Do it. Do you want the first bite? Oh sure, give it to me. That's I've never good. had spicy snow crab, so. Me neither. It's really good. I like the flavor of that. Mm -hmm. It's good. We're gonna dive into the rest now. It's and actually our anniversary it's now. It's actually our anniversary now. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Thanks, you too. I didn't get Chris anything because... It's, it's both of... Or that was our anniversary present for both yeah. of us. So, I was... I didn't do anything because he asked me not to. Yeah. And I already got him something for his birthday, which he also asked me not to, so... It's okay. Yeah. And we went, out. <laughs> we, went to church, we went to church today, and people were saying happy anniversary to us and stuff like that, so that was fun. It's, yeah. We've been married for one year. Exactly. We... I, I honestly can't believe it. It's yeah. really difficult. I feel like I've been married to you forever. I kind of want to go back and watch our wedding vlog from last year. 
<laughs> but maybe we can do that later or something. Yeah. I think we should watch it. I think it'd be fun. We do have some anniversary cards to open some more, uh, other than the one my parents gave us. Yeah, that have uh, arrived over the past couple days. This is from Giselle's mom. She said she would add it to her pile because she saw it kind of growing because we yeah. wanted to sit and open them on camera. So, oh, that's really, oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, that's nice. See that? Cool beans. Mm -hmm. So it says, happy anniversary to a couple who's out of this world. Get it? Get it? Okay. Dear Christopher and Giselle, you two were definitely made for each other. We are so happy that you chose to be married a year ago today. We love you and wish you many more happy anniversaries. I love mom and dad. Lovely. Thanks. And so both of our parents have sent us very lovely cards. And then uh, Giselle's sister sent us a card. This is from Amber. From both of us on your anniversary, we're both we're both thinking of you and hoping your anniversary is just the beginning of many more years of happiness together. Congratulations. And then it has all the families Yeah, they signed. all they all like sign individually and stuff, which is yeah. fun. So Amber said, happy anniversary, Giselle and Chris. Hope you have had a great celebration. Love, Amber. And yeah, they're all just so cute. <laughs> yeah, like Paige. And, and, and Penny can actually sign her name now because she's getting slightly older. Yeah, some of the, some of the even just last year, like uh, we got a card I think from her, and it was just like a scribbly, but now it says Penny. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and then this, this one. is this is from my aunt and my uncle. This is uh, they were they were at our wedding, so they were in our they were in our wedding vlog. And it says, one year together, one summer warmer, one autumn richer, one winter deeper, one springtime lighter. And they gave us a little present and it says, best wishes for a lifetime of wonderful years together. Happy first anniversary. Love Aunt Karen and Uncle Steve, Aww. which is very, very nice of them. Thank you guys so much. Really, really appreciate it. And there's one for my grandparents as well. Actually, it's the same exact envelope. So I'm, I'm curious if they send us the same exact card because usually they don't all really all have that perfectly matching envelope. I wonder. We'll find out. We'll see. <gasps> <laughs> That's great. That's I really guess funny. they buy their cards from the same place. Yeah. So it says the same thing on the outside. And then they wrote a note that says, We are so happy for you. For your first anniversary, I'm sending uh, a check so you can celebrate, which is very nice of them. Uh, looking forward to seeing you both soon. Love you so much, Grandma and Grandpa. Which is very, very nice. Aww. Yeah. And they, they gave us a nice little present as well, which we very much appreciate. Yeah. But I... I think that's pretty much it for this vlog. Our anniversary weekend has been fun. Giselle's mom has been here the whole time. We kind of you're gonna see a different vlog with Giselle's mom in it as well. Uh, that kind of co that kind of coincides with the events of this vlog. But I wanted to make this first vlog very specifically about our anniversary celebration. So that's what it's been. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is kind of a new format for the vlog uh, going forward. Uh, let me know what you thought of it. I guess it's really just a, a little bit of a a test, testing the waters kind of thing. So, but you'll see another vlog very soon that it, it goes over the other things we were doing this weekend. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you very soon with more. Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary.